right, you guys, we're back at it again. You know what we do on this channel. We talk about prospects and we talk about ways that the Detroit Lions can get better in 2022. I like to thank everybody that's been watching the videos, everybody that's been subscribing to the channel. Without you guys, none of this could be possible. And we're trying to get to uh, definitely 2K. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Also, guys, make sure you hit that like button. If you like what we're doing and the content that we bring over here at Raw Detroit, make sure you hit that subscription button, guys. That's how you can repay us. And we appreciate that, guys. The uh, like button doesn't cost you a thing. It's free. And also the subscription button. All right, guys, let's get right into it. On today, we're going to talk about wide receiver Ty Fry Fogel. Now, some of you guys might be familiar with Ty Fry Fogel because he is in the Big Ten. So a lot of you guys probably saw this kid play before, but he is a big body receiver. He has the size. He has the length, the strength. And one thing he's good is getting is being able to defeat uh, press jams. Uh, he is a smooth route runner with deceptive speed. He makes great contested catches has very large hands is a vertical deep threat can catch over the shoulder over both shoulders to be exact and he can create separation uh for himself as well and he can catch the ball in tight windows in tight situations so he is a guy that can do it all now when you come to his accolades pretty much what this kid was able to do um he was big 10 receiver of the year he was an all-american uh, third team honors and Fry Fogel also was the player of the year for Indiana. So this guy has a great body of work that he's been able to put in for uh, the Indiana Hoosiers. Fry Fogel is good at catching the 50-50 balls, going up the, at the high point and being able to snatch the ball out the air. Um, one thing that I liked about this kid is that definitely he has great upper body strength, uses that a lot has a knack for being able to get open and make plays is a very good uh blocker as well as a downfield blocker as well fry fogel is willing to lower the pass to be able to run through tackles for extra yardage he has a very impressive catch radius uses his big frame to box out defenders on contested catches has great body control and one thing i said about him um he had a huge um, I think he's one of the first uh, Big Ten receivers in a long time, I believe, to be able to have uh, two 200-yard uh, games back-to-back, -back, and it was against Michigan State and Ohio State. So that just lets me know that this dude is the real deal. If you can do that against Michigan State, and you can do that against Ohio State, who pretty much dominates the Big Ten every season, then you are a special receiver. And this dude is special, man. Very strong guy. And definitely the Detroit Lions need to mark his name down on the big board. When it comes to finding receivers, you have to be able to do your due diligence. You, be, you have to be able to put the homework in, to study film on these guys, and to know their strengths and their weaknesses. When it comes to finding a receiver in this year's draft, that's what you're looking for. You're looking for guys that can make plays. I don't, I don't know how many times I'm going to have to say it. The Detroit Lions need premium talent on this roster we need guys that's going to be able to complement tj hawkinson as well as amon ross st brown we need other receivers and i don't care if the lions have to double up on receivers in the draft i think that that would be a great thing if the lions were to double up on receivers in the draft because we need it we need the talent over here now i don't know how cephas is he how he's going to be after he comes back from his injury, hopefully he's going to be even better than what he was last season. But the whole uh, goal this season and this offseason for the Detroit Lions to be able to get blue chip talent out of the draft. And I don't care what round it is. We got to find guys that we can groom and guys that can be our our star players. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for guys that, that are going to make an impact next season. Not the season after, but next year. We need these guys to come in and be plug and play guys. We need these guys to be rotational guys. We need these guys to be able to, if they got to play on special teams, whatever they got to do, run returns, whatever it may be. We need these guys to impact our roster next season. And I definitely think that Fire Fogel is one of those guys that could do that. You know, he has a great body of work, um, great work ethic. 
The kid is phenomenal. And he makes a lot of great plays, man. And when you got that on your team, man, you 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 really, really, truly, I can say you're working with something. And the Detroit Lions uh, coming into this draft, um, the number one goal is probably to, to definitely get a pass rush and to also be able to get to be able to get some receivers out of this draft. And we're going to go through so many receivers where your head is literally going to spin because I know a lot of you guys probably don't know some of these receivers and you don't uh, really know how many receivers is out there that you possibly can get. I know we know the main names. We know uh, Drake London. We know um, Jameson Williams. We know Traylon Burks. We know David Bell. We know um, the Ohio State boys, uh, Chris Olave and uh, Garrett Wilson. And we know Jalen Tolbert. And we know Christian Watson now and other guys like that. But there's other guys that's in this draft class that you probably can possibly get and the guy could end up being a hit for you. So the Lions are gonna have to do their homework when it comes to putting all these receivers on the board because basically, if I'm the GM, I'm looking for talent. I'm looking for talent that's gonna trump everything in this draft for me. I'm looking for talent and I'm, make, I'm looking for guys that are able to make big plays. That's what I'm looking for, ultimately. That's what I'm looking for. Does it matter what size the receiver is? truly no but when you're looking at the lions we don't have too many big receivers on our team so we do need one at least one big body receiver and maybe another guy that can do it all you know he can play on the outside he can play on the inside you can mix it up with him we need that man we need a guy to me i think that we need a guy that can mix it up do every do everything and then you need that big body guy that's in the red zone being a red zone target alongside uh a tj hawkinson so i think if we draft a guy like that then i think that we should be fine guys that is the number one thing this season to be able to go out and to be able to find guys like uh ty fry fogel because say for instance if the lions drafted this guy and they picked him up you're gonna be so happy that you picked this guy up and you found talent in the draft that's what it's all about. That's what makes any GM happy, especially when it comes to the late round guys, because these guys come in with a chip on their shoulder. Some of these guys feel like they should have been in the, the, the first round, second round, third round, wherever round, especially if you're getting drafted later in the uh, the uh, the fifth, the sixth and the seventh round. And maybe you might even be an undrafted guy. These guys are going to come in with attitude. These are guys that are going to, that are going to be hungry. They're going to be trying to make the 53-man roster. And that's what I want. I want competition at its greatest level in Detroit because we need to find greatness out on the field. And I don't care how we have to do it. And and um, I, don't, I don't care. I just don't care, guys, how we have to do it. We need to go and find these guys. And I definitely think that this dude is very, very talented, especially going against Ohio State, putting up 200 yards against Ohio State. That doesn't happen all the time. And uh, putting up uh, 200 yards against Michigan State, both of those teams are pretty pretty good uh, Big, Ten, uh, Big Ten football teams, Michigan State and Ohio State. Both of those uh, teams are pretty good in the Big Ten. So for him to be able to do what he did and put that on display and show and showcase us on these videos, I think that you have to uh, make uh, make Fry Fogel a point of interest. The dude is a playmaker. The dude has size. That's what you're looking for. The dude um, can create for himself. He can he can get separation from guys and uh, ultimately being a playmaker. That's truly what I'm looking for. I'm looking for that guy that got dog in him. That dude that ain't gonna back down when he's out, out, on, out on the field and, and Jalen Ramsey is talking uh, trash to him. I'm looking for that dude that's gonna be box office. We need it in Detroit, man. And if we do that this year, Sky is going to be the limit for us. There's nothing that's gonna be able to stop us, man. If we find the receivers that they, they can come in here and ball out. We want to be able to have the same thing as the Cincinnati Bengals team have. Tyler Boyd, T. Higgins, Jamar Chase, 
and even in the backfield with Joe Mixon. We want all of that, man, in Detroit. We want we 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 would love for our quarterback to have 4600 yards passing and 35 touchdowns and maybe 10 interceptions or something like that. Because you're going to throw interceptions. But at, we we just want that. We want that over here in Detroit. And uh definitely man, I just I just think that this is the year where we have to go out and we got to go find those guys that are blue chip those guys that are uh, box office, those guys that make big plays, those guys that's going to bring creativity to our offense, those guys that's going to give it 110, never take days off, never uh, never take plays off. They always in the mix. That's what we're looking for in Detroit. So I think that Brad Holmes know what the assignment is. He knows that he has to find a couple dogs at receiver. Because that's what it's all about this season. And this dude was an All-American wide receiver. And a, and a Big Ten uh, receiver of the year. So Fry Fogel knows what he's doing. Alright you guys. Keeping it raw. And I'll be back to you soon. Peace.